Hey kids, <laughs> uh, back again. Uh, and look, I've got a special guest star today. Uh, say hi, John. Hi. This is uh, John, who you might remember from uh, previous videos. What video were you in? Oh, your brownie. Uh, yeah, I wrote the brownie. The brownie. He, his brownie was in a video. <laughs> so uh, John was kind enough to uh, to make the trip up from Buffalo to, to visit, and we're, we're going to go party and, and have a good time today. And uh, he brought something. What did you bring, John? I brought an Instax Y300. It's... um. It's Fujifilm's new Polaroid instant camera. I don't know what you know yeah. what call it. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, I like it. I, I never used my digital camera since I would take pictures, put them on a computer, and they would sit there for 20 years while I didn't look at them. So I thought something that gives me an instant picture would be kind of fun. That's yeah, cool. awesome. Well, that's really exciting. I actually, for a while, had been interested in uh, there is a Polaroid back that you can get that'll adapt onto the the RB67. Um, and I've always been interested in trying that out and seeing. This is going to give me kind of a glimpse into how I feel about uh, instant photography. I, the last time I used an instant camera, honestly, was, I mean, it must have been like the year 2001, yeah. something like that, like when I was underage drinking at a, some sort of a wedding. I think a girl brought me as a guest uh, to a wedding, and I drank a lot, and I had a Polaroid, or someone there had a Polaroid camera and took a bunch of pictures. Yeah, my friends did the same thing at their wedding. They had a little Polaroid. I think it's popular to bring a Polaroid to a wedding. Yeah, this, again, this was a thousand years ago, <laughs> but I'm really excited. So this, this camera has, has what in the way of options on it? Very few options. You can't, uh, you can't really turn the flash off. Um, it has, I think, two focus lengths. What's that? What What's that little guy there? What's yeah. that? What was that? <laughs> what the little... What is that? What did I do it when you pop that little... What? There are focal lens ranges on there? Yeah, I think it's a focus range. Either three or 0.9 to 3 meters, and then 3 meters to infinity, and there's like a little plastic. Is that the aperture or the. I think it's like just the range they tell you to use it. I'm not sure what it would be. Okay. <laughs> well, what the hell? We'll figure it out. Um, and then you're, you have the option to keep the flash on all the time or to make it automated? Yeah, it has it on a flash. And then there's a. Um, it's a lighten and darken button. If the, the idea is you take a picture and it looks terrible, you hit the button to make it either lighter or darker when you take it. It's the only uh, exposure, I guess you'd say, adjustment in there. And you look through this little guy here, right? Yep. To, and it's going to be slightly offset the way it would be on any yeah. you know, rangefinder or um, you know, like TLR or anything where you're not looking directly through the taking lines. Yeah, I'm assuming you're looking right through here. Yeah, you're looking right through there, and then the image is offset. So it's, but it should be close enough. That's really cool. Uh, you've used it. How do you like it? I, I like it. I mean, it's, I don't think it takes particularly great pictures. That might just be me. Um, but I like the fact that I get an instant picture. I can tape it to a wall or sketch something off of it or do whatever I want. So. Now, Fuji's, cool. Fuji's got, uh, how many of these do they make? Like, how many different models do you know? They really only make, there's a, pr a couple previous models. This one was the only wide model. Okay. And then they make an, a mini one, but the pictures are, like, credit card size. Sure. And they, they make more Is the, the mini one's the, the cool-looking one, yeah, right? That the one that a, looks like an older kind yeah. of, yeah. And it has more options. That has, I think, a bulb mode, and you can turn the flash completely off. But okay. I didn't like getting a, the pictures were so small, I just didn't. Now, that grab that picture. film for me here. Uh, what what kind of film is it? What do we know about the film here? Uh, I don't know much about it. I have Doesn't a box elsewhere. Anything yeah. on there? Yeah, grab the box. Yeah, come back. He's grabbing the box. <laughs> now, is this the only film that uh, that that the only instant film available for this? Is this? Yeah, I, as far as I know, they only sell one type of film, and uh, I want to say it's. 400? 400, 400 speed? Okay, that's what I was looking for. I'm trying to find somewhere, a... Somewhere it's at 800, but I don't think... 800? No, that's possible, too. Um, I'm trying to find a... a Any a, information a, Like an ASA sorry. speed on here. ISO 1... Or 800. Okay, cool. Yeah. So this is a fast film. So today, uh, we're going to go to Saratoga, because John's never been. And uh, what's happening in Saratoga today, John? Uh, chowder fest? <laughs> chowder fest. <laughs> it's happening in Saratoga. I'm so excited. So I would assume we're gonna go, we're gonna tour Saratoga, we're gonna see the beautiful sights, probably gonna eat a little bit of chowder. Yeah, sounds good. I would hope. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be really fun. So we're, we're gonna take this little bad boy, this one rather, along, and we're gonna take some photos and post them, and then we'll do a little reaction when we get back tonight, hopefully with a couple of, couple of cold beverages, and uh, yeah. We get that Lambic to drink, that yeah. cherry flavored <laughs> Lambic. It'll be good. Yeah, all right, see you soon, guys.
Do you, how many are in there? Ah, uh, there's ten inside. Every, everything comes with ten. Is that the only film you brought? I brought three of these packs. Oh, here. You want to waste one on me? Take a sure. picture of me. Oh. Yeah. Is that good? That's good. See, there's no way to play. So we spent yesterday shooting with the Fuji Instax uh, wide 300 camera um, and I just wanted to offer a couple of final thoughts. Uh, the, uh, the photos should be in the video. And uh, my first opinion of this is that uh, for starters it's, it's huge. Um, it's huge, it's got kind of a plasticky build but it, it doesn't feel bad, it feels pretty solid, feels pretty well built especially for the price point and the components. Um, as far as the photos themselves go. They're kind of a mixed bag uh, in that they are pretty low res, I think, uh, but that's part of the appeal. And again, at the price point you know, at which you're shooting, you're not expecting super, super high quality optics. This whole camera costs less than uh, the 50mm 1.8 from Canon does. So you know, you're getting a pretty good uh, quality lens and pretty good quality optics for what you're paying. Uh, and, and, and you're also paying for the... Uh, the experience, right? Yeah, I, I think it's fun to take pictures with and I like having a, a physical piece of media that comes out. Um, I like it. It's cheap. Yeah. <laughs> it's <really> cheap. Cheap, <laughs> so. uh, fun, definitely something that people would enjoy at parties, I think. Uh, something that, uh, you know, if you travel and you want, you know, to leave like a little memento behind, it's very, very cool. Um, I'm not sure, uh, I've included the scans in this video, I'm not sure that the scans themselves are going to really do the photos justice uh, because for whatever reason, when, when scanned, I, I feel they just look kind of like low res and uh, just like crappy images. And that might be because part of the, the appeal is the actual printed media that you have. And I think part of it is that it actually does look better in person when you're actually viewing it rather than, than translated to a computer screen. Uh, but if you've got, you know, a hundred bucks burning a hole in your pocket or you've been interested in instant photography but don't necessarily want to take the plunge on like a uh, Polaroid land camera, or something like that, where you know you're gonna have to order film from uh, the Impossible Project. Uh, you've got durability issues, longevity issues. You just want something that you're pretty sure is just gonna work, and film's gonna be pretty inexpensive. This is an awesome way to go, and, and they do make a couple of these. You said they make a, a smaller one. Uh, is that less expensive or like the same? They're actually, I think it might actually be a little more expensive. Okay. It has more options, and it's actually a little more expensive. And again, the pictures are really small, so I'm okay. just interested in that. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Fuji uh, Instax Wide 300. Uh, as always, if you like the videos, uh, subscribe, thumbs up. Uh, thanks again, guys, and I'll see you soon. Say bye, John. Adios. <laughs> yeah.